Hello everyone, this is Dan from Thomas Road Support. In this video I'm going to take you through the setup and installation process for Uptime WordPress theme. So as you can see we've got a basic WordPress install here, it's just running a default theme with just the demo content and nothing else. And what we're going to do in this video is install the theme, import all the demo content and get things set up just like the demo in just a few clicks. So how it works, we basically need to begin by installing the theme and from there you'll be prompted to get things set up as you'll see, it's all very straightforward, but you can follow along this video. So to begin with, we're going to go to our dashboard. And initially we're going to want to install the theme. Now you can do this via FTP or your hosting cPanel, but in this video we're going to just go to the theme installer provided by WordPress. Now what you need to do is go to Upload Theme and choose your main download package. Now if we check the download package you've got, You'll see you've got the demo data, etc. in there. It may look a little different to this, it's just a mock up for this video. What you actually want is the theme itself. So if you're uploading the zip you download from ThemeForest and you're getting a message that the style.css file is missing, the chances are you're uploading the main package rather than just the theme itself. So open that up and you should find this inside. Once you've got it, hit install and you'll be taken through the process via the usual installer. Now this can take a few moments depending on the speed of your connection. Just sit tight and let WordPress do its thing. It'll let you know when it's done. Okay, now we can hit activate. And what you'll be taken to is a setup prompt here, which will allow you to go through the whole setup process. But before we continue, let me just open up the front end so you can see what to expect. So you can see here we've got our same content however there's a whole new design so that's exactly what we want and at this stage just so you're aware you won't see any of the demo data. So back into the setup process we'll go ahead and hit start. Now it's going to offer to install the child theme for you. Generally speaking this is just a good idea if you're planning on making any changes to the theme design or files etc or even some modifications by CSS uh, if you're looking to make them quite extensive this is generally a good idea anyway so we're going to go ahead and install and it'll go it will actually go ahead and create the child theme for you and activate it next up we're going to want to install the plugins for you and as you can see, if we open this tab here, it'll list the plugins that it's going to install. These are all required for the demo to look just like the demo data. Uh, the ge general idea is we've got the Job Manager plugin for the Jobs page. Elementor is the excellent page builder. Contact Form 7 to handle all forms. Our own framework and custom Metaboxes 2, which works alongside that. Now these two are required at a minimum. The others are I suppose you can get away without them, but Elementor is the main page builder, so you're going to want that. Right, we're going to hit install, and it's going to grab all of these and install them for us. We don't need to do anything. It'll just go through each one, one by one. And once it's done, we'll go on to the next step. Okay. Now we're moving on to the final step, which is actually grab the content itself. Now, sit tight. This one will probably take a while. There's quite a lot to grab. But again, just like the last few steps, you hit import and leave it to do its thing. Now, obviously in your browser you can open up another tab and go elsewhere, but do be sure to leave this one alone while it's taken, uh, while it's taken through the process. So I'm going to go ahead and hit import, and I'm going to pause the recording while this takes place, and we'll be back in a moment. Okay, that's all done. Let's take another look at the site. We'll refresh. And there you go. You can see we've got the demo content, we've got the menu etc all up there, all of the page content, pretty much everything you'd expect all ready to go. Brilliant. Okay well that's it for the setup, obviously if you have any problems do come see me over at support, I'll be more than happy to help. In the next few videos we're going to cover the things like the theme options as well as more intricate details of how to build pages so do be sure to check them out. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.